So, uh, in, in next few classes, we will uh, uh, discuss briefly uh, uh, about the thermodynamics. So, uh, you have all studied uh, thermodynamics in plus 2 level. So, we will go through uh, uh, all the laws of thermodynamics very briefly. Okay. So, we will start with uh, the concept of work and heat. Hmm. We know that work, we define work by W and heat, we define heat by Q, uh, they play important roles in thermodynamics. So, we need to know more about work and heat. So, we know that both work and heat, work and heat play important roles in thermodynamics as we as I said. So, we need to know what is work and what is heat. So, both work and heat refer to refer to the manner in which energy transferred between system and surroundings. So, we have introduced two terminology here system and surroundings. So, what do you mean by system? So, how do we define system then? System is defined as the part of the world we are investigating. And then what is surroundings? So, surroundings can be defined as everything else other than system. So, so, this is the part of the world we are investigating. So, this is system and surroundings everything else. So, this is surroundings and they are separated by a surface okay, that is move, that can be movable also this is surface or boundary. So, now we know what is system what is surroundings. Next, let us define heat. What do we know by heat? Heat can be defined as energy transferred between system and surroundings due to temperature difference between the So, it can be defined as energy transferred between system and surroundings due to temperature difference between them. Okay. So, when there is a temperature difference between system and surroundings we get heat. Okay. Then what is work? Next question is. So, work is also like energy transferred between system and surroundings as a result of unbalanced forces between the two. Okay, so, when there is an unbalanced forces between system and surroundings we get work. So, we defined system, we defined surroundings, we defined heat, we defined work. Now, what is the convention? There, are, there is international convention for work and heat like Q heat, this is positive means heat input to the system. It is negative when heat evolved by the system. 
Similarly, for work, the convention is work is considered as positive, means work done on the system, and it is negative, means work done by the system. Okay, so, these are the uh, uh, conventions we will be using throughout this course. Now, let us see how we get heat and how we get work. So, we have a system like this, which is having temperature T 1 and rest is surroundings having a temperature T 2 and T 1 is not equals to T 2. And if through this boundary, heat can exchange, heat exchange boundary. Okay. So, and T 1 is not equals to 2. In that case, we get Q some Q. Okay. Similarly, suppose you have one container of ideal gas, you have ideal gas here and the pressure of this container is suppose P internal okay. and you have the external pressure is this. Okay. If P external is not equal to P internal, in that case we get some work done. Okay. So, now we understood okay, how one can get heat, one can get work. Now, how do we quantify, how we can calculate heat, work etcetera. Let us see. Consider the previous example like we discussed now. You take one container like this, which is having internal pressure P i. This is our initial state. So, initially we have a gas, gas, we have ideal gas molecule confined in a cylinder. So, ideal gas confined in a cylinder. So, this is our initial state. And then it goes to a state like this. This is our final state. So, this is our initial state, this is our final state, this is the P final. Okay. So, work done for this process W is nothing but your M G H. Okay. M is the mass of piston, M is mass of piston. So, this is our piston. So, this is the piston we are talking about. So, this is your piston. Okay. And what is H? H is, so we have initial state like this. And we have expansion up to this. So, this is our H. So, this is our H. Okay. And G is the acceleration of gravity. Okay. So, that we know. Okay. So, M G H. So, this is the way we can calculate work done. So, work done is this. We can further simplify this one is like m g h times a by a, where a is the area of the piston. Okay. 
So, A is the area of the piston. So, we can further write this. So, this quantity is nothing but external pressure. So, this is your P external and this quantity is nothing but volume change. So, this is del V. Okay. So, if we have initial volume here V i and this is V f. So, delta V is nothing but V f minus V i. Okay. So, this is this is the way how we can calculate uh, uh, work done. So, what we got work done w is minus p external times del v and this p external is nothing but your final pressure delta v and this is applicable for irreversible process. Okay. Now, if pressure changes continuously during the process, if pressure changes continuously during the process, then we can write W is minus P external dv. So, this is this is very general expression and this is applicable for reversible process. Depending on the type of gas molecules, we can calculate work done. Suppose for ideal gas, we know P is nothing but A naught T by V. So, we can calculate W by substituting the value of P. So, V i to V f A naught T by V d V. So, you get minus A naught T Similarly, for Van der Waals gas, suppose if we consider for Van der Waals gas, we know Van der Waals gas equation is like P So, this is the expression for pressure for Van der Waals gas. So, we can substitute this P in the previous expression and we can calculate W. and so on. Okay. So, what we got so far? We got work done W is minus P times delta V for irreversible process. and minus n at t ln v f by v i for 
reversible process and for ideal gas. Okay, so what we get, what we observe is like depending on, so we have one initial state here where the pressure was our P i and V i and we have a state, this is our initial state. And we are going to final state here. Where the pressure is P F, if we say and V F. If the process is reversible one, we get one work done, and if we, the process is irreversible one, we get different work done. Okay. So depending on the process, although we have started from the same initial state and we are going to the same final state, but the depending on the uh, when depending on the process, like if we if we if we go through a reversible process or if we if we carry out irreversible uh, process, work done are different. So, so work done is so work is not a state function. Okay, rather work is a path function. So work is a path function. So, what do you mean by a state function and what do you mean by path function? We will discuss elaborately. Okay. So, state functions are functions, okay. a state function is a property that depends only upon the state of the system and not upon how the system was brought to that state. Okay. So, a state function is a property that depends only upon the state of the system and not upon how the system was brought to that state. One important mathematical property of a state function is that its differential can be integrated in normal way. Suppose, u is a state function. So, we can write, we can do the integration of d u in normal way and we get the value of this. Okay. So, this is how one can integrate one state function. So, usually the suppose, so if an, another person we can write if a which is function of variables x and y is a state function. then d a is a 
said to be perfect differential if like this so state functions are perfect differential so suppose if if a is a state function so da is said to be perfect differential if this condition holds okay so a as i mentioned in previous slide so a is function of x and y so we can write da and we can write d a is where f x y is this del a by del x and So, the necessary and sufficient condition is Okay, so, we need to prove that del f by del y at constant x equals to del g by del x at constant y. Okay. Now, we will consider one simple function and we will try to prove this. Suppose a is x to the 2 sin x y. So, d a you can write So, if we differentiate a we get like this. So, this is our f x y and this term is our g x y. Okay, so, del f by del y at constant x we get 2 x to the 2 So, basically we get 3 here okay. and del g by del x to constant y we also get 3 x to the 2 cos x y minus x to the 3 y sin x y and this is nothing but your del f by del y constant x. So, we can say that a 
or d a is a perfect differential or a is a state function. So, you can say that d a perfect differential. or A is a state function. So, in that way you can basically verify a function is a state function or not. Next, we will prove work done is a path function. So, work is a path function or work is not a state function. So, we will try to prove it in, in a very simple manner. We consider only P V work, okay, only P V work is involved here. So, we consider only P V work here. we have one initial state at point A, where pressure is P 1, volume is V 1. And we would like to reach a final state C, where pressure is P 2, volume is V 2. We can reach from point A to point C like this way we will first reach at point B from point A by keeping the pressure fixed we can increase the volume from V 1 to V 2. So, this is our path 1. So, we can reach from point A to point C via point B and we can reach in another fashion, we can first keep the pressure fixed at keep the volume fixed at V 1 and we can decrease the pressure from P 1 to P 2 and then. So, we can first we can start from point A and then we can reach to point D by keeping the volume fixed at V 1 and then we can decrease the pressure to P 2. So, this is point D, where pressure is P 2, volume is V 1 and then we can increase the volume at constant pressure P 2 from V 1 to P 2. So, this is so path A, so N R D V by V V 1 to V 2. So, if we integrate it, we get T 2 by T 1 to the 3 by 2 equals to V 1 by V 2. So, for expansion process, V 2 is greater than V 1, in that case T 2 is less than T 1 okay? and vice versa. So, you can further simplify this one and you can get P 1 V 1 to the gamma equals to P 2 V 2 to the gamma, where gamma is C P by C V. Okay, or we can write P V to the gamma is constant. Okay, so for adiabatic process, we get P V to the gamma is constant. 
and for isothermal process get P V is constant. Okay. This is nothing but your Boyle's law. Okay. So, now we will uh, um, uh, consider one simple uh, diagram and I will try to uh, uh, calculate work, internal energy etcetera. Okay. So, we will consider one PV diagram again. We have initial state over here like P1, V1, T1, and this is our final state P2, V2, and T1. Okay. So, this is our point, this is your suppose your this path, this is path A and then this is our path B and this is our path C. Okay. So, path A is isothermal reversible process. Path A is Python reversible process and B is adiabatic process. Okay. So, for path A, delta U for path A, internal energy change for path A is 0 because for ideal gas for isothermal process and ideal gas so for ideal gas internal energy is a function of temperature only okay so for I, for isothermal process okay and for ideal gas so there is no internal energy change for path a okay in that case we can write delta q or Q A ok. So, for path B so path B is adiabatic process. So, Q B is 0 ok there is no heat change for this process because adiabatic process. So, we can write delta U B is nothing but is W B. Okay. And for path C, there is no work done and point B is your P 3 V 2 T 2. Okay. For path C, is 0, there is no P V work So, we can write delta U C is Q C and so on. Okay. So, in that fashion, so, so we have just worked out here how we can calculate internal energy change, heat change or work done for different processes.